Hey guys, I just released my wildlife portrait editing course. So if you want to learn more about wildlife portrait editing, check out the discount in the description of the video. There is a link there and check out the course because it's amazing and you will learn everything about wildlife portrait editing. So in this video, we're going to do this photo and we're going to turn it into this one. So this is going to be more like a course style video, going to be slow and steady and we're going to go through all the steps to get this effect. So let's get into this video. So let's start off with dragging the photo of the line into Photoshop or just press right mouse on the photo and open up in Photoshop. Now, first of all, what we're going to do with this image is we're going to create some lighting. We're going to adjust the colors and we're going to create a bit more depth in this photo. So first of all, what I would like to do is I would like to get all the focus on its face here. I don't want to have the focus on the outer parts. I just want to have focus on its face here. So let's start off with adding a new layer here. And I want to select exposure. And with the exposure, we can make the photo lighter or darker. We want to have more focus on its face. So what I'm going to do is I'm first going to make this dark. And then I'm going to take a normal brush and make sure it's the general soft round brush. This is standard to Photoshop. You should have this and click on the first one and make sure the opacity and flow is at hundred percent here. When you press D on your keyboard, you can put the colors to default. And when we flip this, we have black as a foreground color. And now make sure you click on the mask and let's make the brush a bit bigger. And I'm going to just do this. So click a couple of times so you can see we make the face lighter again. Let's do a bit also around it so it doesn't get too dark. And we can already see we created all the focus here on its center. Now let's also create a new layer. Let me close this for now. And in this new layer, I'm going to go to edit and select fill. And here I'm going to select 50% gray, press OK. And change the blend mode to overlay. And now I'm going to select the burn tool. So with the burn tool, we can make areas darker. Here it is, the burn tool. And I want to make these areas around it even darker. So let's go here to the settings of the burn tool. And let's select highlights first. And let's increase the exposure here pretty high. So let's say maybe 40. And I'm going to make the brush pretty big. And I'm going to brush there like that. Also here like there, because I don't want to have focus on this tree. I want to have focus on this center here and also a bit there and also a bit there. And you can see I didn't do much, just a little bit of brushing around it. Now let's move to midtones here and I'm going to drop the exposure a bit lower, pretty low actually, around 15 and I'm going to do it again. And this time I'm not going to do much, just one or two times. Now I'm going to go to shadows and I'm going to drop the exposure pretty low and I'm going to do it one more time just to have a natural lighting like that. And let's see, we have this, now we have this and we have the focus on the center of this image now. I'm slightly going to drop the opacity here. I feel like it's a bit too dark now. I want to keep it natural. So let's say around 70 or maybe even 60, just like that. And that's enough. The next thing that I would like to do here is to, I want to have more visibility of the eyes. The eyes are pretty dark here. I want to make sure we can see those better. And for this, I'm also going to create a new layer. Then I'm going to go to edit and select fill. And here I'm going to select 50% gray. And I'm going to change the blend mode from, off, from normal to overlay. And for the eyes, I'm also going to use the dodge tool. With a Dutch tool, we can make areas lighter. Here I'm making sure I select midtones and I'm gonna go for something around 35. And I'm gonna click a couple of times and brushing those eyes lighter. And you can already see we made those eyes lighter like that. Let's zoom out to see this difference. Make sure you brush every eye in the same kind of range. So not one eye really light and the other one dark. Make sure you brush pretty much the same amount of times. And you can already see the eyes look 
pretty good now. We can see them very well. If you want to change the eye color, you can create a new layer and go to your brushes and just select the general soft round brush and just pick a color. Like for instance, if you want to have the eyes a bit orange, take the brush. Let's make the brush smaller here and brush this area and also here and change the blend mode to color. And that way you can change the color of the eyes. You have to be careful here. You can see I brushed a bit, bit too much. So I'm going to use the eraser here and get rid of this. Make sure the opacity is a bit higher and just brush it correctly like that. And also here, this doesn't look real anymore. So to make this look more real, you can press Ctrl or Command U to bring up the hue and saturation. And you can drop this saturation pretty low and here you can change the eye color. I wouldn't recommend this doing on this photo. I would only recommend doing this when you kind of brush the same color as the original one. You can see the original one is kind of a bit grayish. So if you use like a bit more bluish, it looks a bit real, but not really real. So if you want to do this effect, do it really low saturation, right? So maybe like this, and you can see we added a bit of blue to the eyes. But I think for this photo, we don't even have to do that because we want to keep the originality of the photo. But sometimes it works. But for this one, I would leave it out. So you decide yourself if you want to change the eye color a bit, use it. If you want to keep it like a real photo, don't use it. Just delete the layer again and just move move away from that effect, right? So let's keep it as the original one. I just wanted to show you how to change the eye color or make them really colorful. What I would like to do here next is to, I want to brush the fur a bit. So let's create a new layer and then go to edit and select fill. Make sure to select 50% gray and change the blend mode to overlay. And now I'm gonna use the Dutch tool to brush these areas lighter. There it is, Dutch tool. And here I'm gonna select midtones. Let's do midtones with the exposure around 25, maybe 30. And I'm gonna brush them slightly lighter like that. And these lighter parts there, also here a bit, just slightly lighter. Let's drop the exposure a bit. And I'm gonna make sure these lighter spots of the fur and maybe also his paw here are a bit lighter so you can see this better in this photo. And let's make the brush smaller. And let's also do a bit here around its eye, just those lighter areas. Now you can see, you can really see the line pretty good in this photo while keeping this kind of darker surrounding and the middle part is pretty light. Like we have all the focus on this lion. Don't worry if you brush too much because we can control this with the opacity of this layer. So you can see here, just brushing a couple of times on these areas and this is already enough. Now, before we had this, now we have this, you can see it got pretty light. I'm gonna drop the opacity here to kind of blend this better with this image. And here we just need to find the best range. So this will be way too much, but when you drop this, let's say maybe just a little lighter, like 50, maybe even less, 40, something like this will make this look good and real. Before, after, let's even drop this lower to do this just slightly like that. All right, let's work a bit on the colors now. To adjust the colors, we can simply go here and select color balance. And with color balance, we can kind of balance the colors better. So here you can see the sliders. When I move them from left to right, I can add more red or I can add more cyan. And in this case, let's add a little bit more red. So I have this really nice fur, but because this image is a bit dark, I would also like to add a little bit of blue to this image. When you have photos that are a bit darker, Adding some blue will make them look better, especially when you take a daylight photo and you turn it a bit darker setting, add a bit of blue to them. Let's also try this one. Should we remove some green for this photo? Let's slightly add some magenta to this. 
And I think this is already enough. Just a little correction. You can see before we had this. Now we have this. Maybe even less of this, like that. And let's see. I think this is enough. You can also create a curve layer on top of this. And here you can change the range from RGB to red, green, and blue. And with red, green, and blue, you can also adjust the colors a bit. So usually what I do is I change them to red and I take the darker one and I move it slightly to the right, then go to green, move it also slightly to the right, and the blue one also just a little bit to the right. And that's already enough. And now you can see before we had this, it's kind of, kind of greenish image. And now we have this, I think the colors are balanced better. This obviously depends on what kind of screen you are using. If you have a cheap screen, you probably will have difficulties with this. But if you have a good monitor, a good screen for your computer, this will be a lot easier to work. So I'm going to leave it like this. I think this looks fine. All right, we did some basic adjustments to the photo, kind of the regular things that I always like to do to a photo. And now I would like to create a new layer and press Control Alt Shift E or command option shift on Mac and press the right mouse on this layer and convert to smart object. So we have a layer with all our effects into one layer. And then I would like to go to filter and select camera raw filter to do final adjustments. Let's start off with light here. I think we can slightly increase the exposure here a bit. I feel like the photo is a bit dark. And I'm also gonna give it a bit more contrast, just like that. Let's try out highlights. The highlights, I would drop this slightly. I feel like the white tones are a bit too light, so I'm gonna drop the highlights here a bit to the left, just like that. Let's try out shadows. Let's increase the shadows a bit. I feel like the outer parts are a bit too dark now, so I'm gonna increase those. Let's move to white. Here we can control the white skin. Let's just simply increase this slightly to plus three. And for the blacks, I'm also gonna increase this a bit so it doesn't get too dark now, just like that. Color, I'm gonna leave it as it is. And let's move on to effects. I'm slightly gonna drop the texture here. I feel like there's a bit too much detail visible. I wanna have it a bit softer like that, but I'm gonna increase the clarity as always to make sure the details don't lose. Let's move down, not gonna touch anything of that. And let's go to curve. Let's try it out. Can we increase this? Let's increase the highlights here a bit. So we still see those nice highlights. And let's try out lights. I'm gonna slightly move them to the right, not much, just a little touch. And the darks here, I think it's a bit too dark, so I'm gonna make them a bit to the right, like plus three. And the same for the shadows, just gonna make them slightly lighter. Let's move down. Here I can play with a color if you want to. Let's try it out. This one doesn't do anything. Let's move on to this one. Oh, let's make sure it's you and not luminance. Let's do it again. This one doesn't do anything. And here we can change the fur color. So if you want to have a different kind of fur color, we can slightly move this one. But don't change it too much because this obviously looks fake and you want to keep it like a real photo. So here we can just simply improve the fur color if you want to. You can also look at images of other lions to make sure you have like a natural kind of fur color and not something that looks like Photoshop. So I probably won't even use this too much, just a little touch like that to kind of make it look better and not ruin the fur color. I'm not gonna touch any of those, I'm gonna leave those. Let's move down, all the way down. And here we have sharpening and noise reduction. I don't think we should use this one. I think the photo looks nice. Let's move down. And again, here we can do some calibration with the color. Sometimes this works to make this look better. Sometimes you can ruin the image. So you have to be careful with this one. So I think I'm gonna drop the situation a bit of the red here. We kind of have a dark photo. So I wanna make sure it doesn't get too colorful because when you take photos in the dark, you won't see that much color. So I'm gonna drop these, as you can see. Let's try out this one. 
let's also just slightly drop that one not so much just a little bit and i think this is enough and press ok and i can see how this looks as always i can try to add a color lookup and select tree strip to see how this looks and obviously need to drop the opacity here just like a really low range like that and now Let's put everything in a folder by holding down shift and selecting all those layers and press command or control G to group them. And I can see before we had this, let's give this black so you can see this better. And now we have this, we improve this photo and have now all the focus on our lion. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my course if you want to learn more about wildlife editing. And until then, catch you in the next video.